I wanna walk around in my bare feet Take off my shoes, wiggle my toes You know I gotta walk around in my bare feet Take off my shoes, wiggle my toes You know I wanna walk around in my bare feet Kick off my shoes, wiggle my toes I'm back in the hilltop hideaway in body, but my spirit still on the Gulf of Mexico. I got my hair down, I kicked my shoes off. I'm back in the hilltop hideaway from a Gulf Coast spring break vacation that was of the chillest of the chill. All we did really was hang it on the beach. I also managed to get a few fillets of some white fish that we reeled in right from the Gulf of Mexico, right from behind our house. So today, since I'm in spirit of spring break still, I am gonna get a little taste of the Gulf by cooking up some fresh fish tacos. See you in the kitchen. What's up, y'all? We're back in the Hilltop Hideaway kitchen. I put some shoes on, well, because I do respect the health department. But for this episode, I refuse to put my hair up all the way. So we're still gonna let it go and we're gonna let it flow because we're getting fish tacos straight from the Gulf of Mexico. I'm pretty sure these are whiting. I'm still waiting to confirm with my father-in-law who gave me these. Um, we caught these right out back of our rental house that we stayed on for spring break. We're gonna fire up the flat top for this one and I got my Mr. J's taco seasoning so it'll be perfect for some fish tacos. You can see these beautiful fillets. The real fishermen tell me it's pretty similar to walleye, so we're gonna find out. I'm gonna hit it with some oil. And you wanna cover it good with some seasoning. There you go, pretty simple. Fish, oil, my taco seasoning, you can use your taco seasoning. We're just gonna let these sit for about 10, 15 minutes while we make sure our flat top is hot enough. We just season this up with my taco seasoning after we hit it with a little olive oil. Our flat top's nice and hot. Um, so we're just gonna get a crust on the outside of these while the inside is flaky and delicious. I'm not gonna lie, I did cook up a few of these earlier because I've never cooked fish this thin on a flat top that hot before. I'm pretty confident we're gonna have a bomb ass taco. We got a smoking hot flat top. We're just gonna hit it with some olive oil. Now, we just hit our fish fillets right on the flat top. Now if you season these up enough, these should only take two or three minutes on each side till you get a nice crust on them and we'll throw them in with the other ones and these will be a delicious flaky fish taco right from the Gulf of Mexico. It's been a couple minutes. You see we got a nice crust on the outside of that. A couple more minutes on this side. Let's take these off and add them to the other ones. I got a few tortillas I'm gonna grill up since I got the flat top already hot and rolling. While we're doing that and setting up our tacos, I'm gonna take this melted butter and I'm gonna drizzle this on top of our fish so it gets all buttery. We're just waiting for that bed of taco. You see how flaky good that's gonna be? Let's just drizzle in some butter. Now, if you're trying to be healthy and worried about something and a little butter scares you, don't worry. You can skip that part. They're still going to be delicious. But if you ask me, butter makes everything better, baby. So we're adding it in the butter because that's only going to soak up and make that taco flavor even better. All right, these tacos are going to be pretty simple. You see we got our flaky blackened taco white fish, lettuce, 
a mango pineapple salsa, Myers brand, and some avocado, and I just mixed it together. We got some lime, and we got my favorite hot sauce for tacos, that's Cholula. I'm gonna start with a bed of lettuce on each one, just for that fish to nestle in there. Now we wanna take our fish and pile it on. You can see we got the fish piled high. I like to apply my hot sauce directly to the fish, just because that's just a good way to go. I hit them with some lime, and then add our little avocado mango mixture. There you have it, some Gulf of Mexico mango pineapple avocado tacos. I had a little bit of fish left from a fun week in Gulf Shores, Alabama. I figured I might as well stretch out vacation a little longer and get a little taste of the good life. I legit been thinking about this bite all day. So fresh, so flavorful. Mm. Man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's freaking good fish taco. See you next week. What kind of fish is this? Whiting. Roger that. Roll Tide, some bitch!